reveal everything Look, at, at the same time. Great leaders are not ideologues. Anyone who has done anything great has has been very, very practical. And this guy's practical. And that's what you got to admire about him. And he couldn't do that. He couldn't go out and, and actually uh, do an about face and say, we're not going to worry, about, we're not going to uh, raise taxes until the economy goes up, because then he would have been hurting the very people that voted for him. I don't think that that's, uh, that would have been smart. But you can argue the market would have went up, and we would not have had to deal uh, with well, city in the toilet. I don't know about that. With, if, you, if you look at him, he can came out as being, you know, this new, bold, we're going to change things, it's going to be a different world, but who, who was helping him get there? But people who knew how to use the system, who knew how to package him, who knew how to right. work within the government, who worked there before, and now we have part two of the Clinton administration with Hillary Clinton. Yeah. We have oh, no but that's, that's, that's he's also, he's also that's getting a break. Baseball. He's getting a huge break. Iraq, uh, thankfully, we had no fatalities in October. He's not going to have to make a hard decision about Iraq. By not talking about it, he's letting it heal. And each month that goes by, you think someone's going to say, well, you're out in three years instead of 16 months? No, no one's going to say that. Maybe he's going to leave a month early. We're going to be watching on the news, another 2,000 came home today, another 2,000 right. came home today. And he might decide to take credit for it. Mm -hmm. And he might, under Barack Obama, we pulled 90,000 people mm -hmm. out of Iraq. And on the right. other side, and to do exactly what he said he was going to do, they're already talking within the Bush administration of surging 20,000 or 30,000 troops into Afghanistan. Oh, that could look like Barack Obama's idea, but it's really Bob Gates came up with that along with and that's General gonna, Petraeus. And that's yeah. going to be Obama's Vietnam. Let me tell you, everyone thinks about uh, Afghanistan. Do you remember that the Russians were there for over 10 years and couldn't win that oh, war? I mean, this is no, crazy. No, the thing is, you're not looking to win. You're just looking to settle down and pull out. Okay. We're not looking to occupy. Uh, I think you're looking to kill as many Taliban you, as possible. That's a tough one. That uh, is a real tough one. And it's also a very different culture. You know, I've spoken to people who have actually helped, you know, train the U.S. military in, in both Iraq and Afghanistan. You mean train Afghanistan? Train, and actually going in to do some, uh, to help build social programs, interact with the local people. And it is a different cultural element here. We've oh. had Afghanistan, which has really been a lawless land for many, many years because the Taliban, as opposed to Iraq, which had some structure, it wasn't a structure that we thought was right. But it was a structure, and so you're talking about people who deal with things differently, at least outside of Kabul and major cities. But I think he's, different. you know, I think every day that he doesn't have to talk about it is a great day for him. Right. Um, and what, I think what, what, what do you mean? That, that he doesn't have to talk, talk about, about Afghanistan, Afghanistan and Iraq. Right. right. I think that's that he right. is, you know, right. that's where he really gets into that's trouble with Hillary his liberal Clinton, yeah. And that's right. why I put Bob leaves Bob Gates there. Absolutely. So it just continues on. He says he's going to focus on economic policy. Uh, and I'll give you, there's a, there's a word that he introduced the other day, which is going to be, in, in my opinion, the word for the next six months. And how it plays out is going to be really indicative of, of how all this plays out, is sacrifice. He introduced the word wow. sacrifice. It hasn't been out there. Love it. Go back to Carter is the last time that we talked about sacrifice as a country. And uh, the question will be, can he pull this off? Can he tell an American people who have lost money in their 401k, losing their job, losing their home, that they need to sacrifice more? And for businesses, I think all of them need to figure out what are they going to sacrifice today in order to get what they want from Washington. Because i got to imagine that no one's coming to Washington from now on without saying that they're going to sacrifice something in order to get a new right. policy. And one of those sacrifices is telling those CEOs, and no bonus. Exactly. One of them saying that, you know, you guys have to come with a plan. There's going to be no free lunch to the auto executive. What? So he said that from afar. Two things about Roosevelt. Number one, Roosevelt communicated with the people when things were bad and said, don't worry, we're going to get through. We're going to get through it. That's uh, that's extremely important, and that's what he's he's going to do. And to talk about we're all in this together was another one of Roosevelt's really strong points. And that and he was the one that communicated. Uh, and this guy Obama does that really really well. He's using the uh, internet. Well, he's got the his website where he does the streaming every day. This is very, very important. It's his it's his uh, fireside chat. All right, Obama. that's a good point. The other thing is he doesn't want to give up this. Right. Like the <laughs> fire. He's like, I need to be able to communicate with yeah. everybody, and I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of talking to the same twelve people. I want to be able to talk to some different people, mm -hmm. including Scarlett Johansson, who, according to you, Bill, is hot. We took her off. Oh, <laughs> she is not online. Uh, I, here's my here's my prediction: the October surprise that happened 
uh, when Reagan took over from Carter. I think there's going to be a Bin Laden-like kill surprise right around that transition time. I don't understand why we are we're killing so many higher-ups all of a sudden. We just killed a key person over the weekend. We are now, after not bombing for three and a half years, for seven and a half years, we're now bombing 20, we bombed 20 times in three months. And the first thing Barack Obama said in his first press conference is it's a priority getting Osama Bin Laden. Even Bush doesn't say it's a priority getting Osama Bin Laden because it's so hard to get him. I think there's something up. Yeah. Mm. Do you well, think there's I mean, something up? Or well, there certainly is a move afoot. We look at, as you mentioned, those incidents. We've had, you know, Al-Qaeda, you know, leaders taken out. We've gone into, you know, what people consider sovereign lands and, and actually, you know, flexed our muscles, muscles and taking these people out. Which means we're doing it a lot we're, more than we do. We're doing a lot mm-hmm. more, and there are things going on day to day which are not being reported on the news, where we're sending people in tactically just to go get these leaders, and once their heads pops above the hedgerow, you know, take them out. And we say they die natural causes. It happens. Um, <laughs> 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 but a big